June 28th, I was saying I do to my bride. Hey, what's up, everyone? It's uh, Terry Bell, the voice of soul from the People Station here in Atlanta, V103. And I am sitting here with Mr. 205 on his video set. June 28th, Mr. Ruben Stutter. What's up, brother? How are you, man? I'm good, man. Tell me about June 28th. Uh, the song is just, it's, it's a song about life experience, you know what I mean? People always say you'll, you'll be able to have better music when you experience life more. Right. And um, I'm, a, I'm a firm believer that this, this video is, has, give, has given me the opportunity, I guess, to kind of tell the story, but you know, it is something that I've gone through, you know what right. I mean? So it's, you know, it's important that, you know, people, the people get a chance to hear the story from the people that it's actually going from. It, it takes me back to another fellow guy from Birmingham by the name of Eddie Kendricks. For me, just, you know, the way I phrased it, you know, the way I'm phrased, the way I'm singing it, it's, it's like an homage to, to, to Eddie, right. you know what I mean? How, how is this new album different from your previous albums? This new album is different, first, because I'm on an independent label, Shiny Key, um, but it's, it's different because I've been given the opportunity to do whatever I want to do. Right. They just said, go in the studio, make some good music, and come back and, you know, we'll tell you if we like it. You covered Bobby Brown's Rock With You. Right. You gotta tell me about that, bro. You know, it's nothing like doing something that I can really relate to. Mm. And Bobby Brown, for me, <laughs> you know, um, That's a generation. As a, as a, you know, I mean, I grew up with it. When we just recently lost one of the hip-hop pioneers of the game, you had a chance to work with Heavy D. Yeah. How was that experience and how did that come about? He was with it. And he came in for, he actually came in for the BET Hip Hop Awards. And the night after the BET Hip Hop Awards, he came in the studio and recorded his verses and he killed it. And it's crazy because I like just missed him. Like I, I needed, I thought that he was going to be able to come the night of the Hip Hop Awards while we was recording it because I had a, I had to fly away for a show. Right. So when he was coming in, I was leaving. <laughs> but when I got home and they emailed me the, what he did, I was like, yo, it's a smash. And then we tweeted that night to each other. And he was like, Ruben, I think you got your first single. And I was always a chubby kid, man. And Heavy was always like, he showed you that you could be a big guy, but always be fresh, man. Like everything about the dude was just right, right, right. on the level. What are some of the biggest misconceptions about Ruben Sutter? Oh man, I think one of the biggest misconceptions about me is that I'm shy. Run out there and give me a pack of them cool my one hundred and I soon the one boy skin. Some chillin'. A bucket. I'm fun to be around, man. I like to joke a lot. Right. I love comedy and so that's what I do. Like if you notice, like I'm always cracking jokes on everybody. Like that's just that's just my thing. See that? I shut him up around him. You understand know I me? Mean? Don't nobody get past Cleopas Wilson. Nobody. Well, won't you tell me? <laughs> A lot of people, and it's because I'm from the South, you know, we real like, you know, we don't really talk unless we have something to say. I was blessed to have parents that cared enough about me to make me go to school and study my craft. What Idol taught me is that you know, before you get in the music industry, you feel like the most important thing is being the best you can be exactly. as a musician. Exactly. But the, the music industry is about 10% music and 90% business. You're always at work. Right. You know, you always have to pay attention to every, everybody and everything around you. Mm. Yes, man, never help anybody. <laughs> hey, man, you recently you did some lifestyle changes. Right. Became a vegan. Right, vegetarian. Vegetarian. Yeah. Ran a 5K. Right. And please tell us about the Ruben Sutter Weekend. You know, um, the Ruben Sutter Weekend came out about with just me wanting to do something different to raise money for my foundation. You know, we've had the galas, we've had the parties, we've had everything, but you know, I wanted to do something that, that involved the whole city of Birmingham. So I got with this company called Crichton Partners and we planned the Ruben Sutter, the first Ruben Sutter Weekend and uh, it's a casino night and uh, dinner and a half marathon and fitness, all kind of stuff going on that weekend. But you know, we, we raised a lot of money for the kids and my mayor, shout out to my mayor, Mayor William Bell, you know, <laughs> he really showed us a lot of love. And um, I'm just, you know, I, I really, I'm happy that I get the opportunity to do stuff like that, you know, from my hometown, man, because, you know, um, the work that we do could be, you know, um, 
setting the platform for the next American Idol. We're sitting at Ruby Studdard's video shoot here in Atlanta, Georgia, having a good time. It's gonna take you back, it's gonna remind you some temptations with a new Jack feel. So Ruben, thank you, man. <laughs> yes, sir. Appreciate you. Thank you. Ruby Studdard, Terry Bellow, we got it.